going on guys and welcome back to Baker's DIY Lifestyle. So if you have not watched my video of the dethatching, mowing and preparing our seabed for the year, go ahead and check that video out and I will put a card at the top of the video here. But what we're going to be doing today is going ahead and finishing kind of the last steps of what we're going to do for our aerate and overseed for the fall. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and do another soil test kit because I haven't done one in about three years. But once I get this soil test packaged up and in the mailbox, we'll go ahead and spot spray. And then I'm probably just going to ride the boys around on the mower because that'll be nice and easy. We can get them started in some lawn care. <laughs> we'll go ahead and aerate the yard and then go ahead and get some seed down in the front. So I am pretty upset because I have not received my Kentucky bluegrass from Ryan Knorr for the backyard yet. But this weather is so perfect. It's starting to cool down. It's been raining past couple days. It's supposed to rain again tonight. And I don't want to miss the opportunity to get my fescue at least started. So I'm going to go ahead and aerate, overseed, and fertilize the front yard. That way at least I can focus on it until next week when hopefully my Kentucky bluegrass comes in for the backyard. And I'll just go ahead and do the same process back there as well. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down. We'll go dig some holes for our soil test and then we'll get going. Yeah, another root. Yeah. Okay, we'll just poop that, Jimmy. Nice. Did you poop? Yeah. Let me smell. Yeah. Oh, you did poop. I want to smell. We're going to have to go change his diaper. Yeah. Shoo, we is right. Uh, yeah. right. Let's go change your diaper right quick, Lane. Alright guys, so now we got our aeration all complete. The boys were having a good old time, but for the seed, I went ahead and sent them to the backyard just because it's easier for me to open and close the pool behind spreader behind the zero turn. But the grass seed I'm using for the front yard is the new GCI turf type tall fescue. So if you remember my front yard is actually GCI's cool blue, which is their 85% turf type tall fescue with 15% midnight Kentucky bluegrass mixed in. But I'm actually switching it up because Pete's new blend actually includes two spreading tall fescue variety types, which is super cool. They're an elite variety of very advanced grass seed and something that I'm excited to try out because it'll be a little bit more drought and heat resistant than the Kentucky bluegrass in the front yard. And if you haven't been to the channel or you forgot why I put the fescue in the front and the bluegrass in the back, it's because I want the front to be as low maintenance as possible. My bluegrass, eventually I want to get it down to about an inch and really make it a super short, nice place for the kids to play. But my front yard, I just want it to be tall and green and look good without me having to worry about it as much. But now that we got the aeration done, I'm gonna go ahead and get the seed thrown down and then we'll go right behind it. And we're going down with a half rate with this 12, 24, 24, because obviously I wanted some type of starter fertilizer with phosphorus in it. So we've got that middle number as a 24, which is fantastic. And I also want the last number to be really high because it's going to help with stress. Potassium is going to help with the summer stress. It's going to help with the stress from the dethatching, stress from mowing, stress from aerating, and stress from all of this prep work that we are putting into the seed. So it's a really good combination of seed. Again, Southern States always coming in clutch with amazing, uh, with amazing fertilizer blends. 
But what I'm gonna do is go down with a half rate of this. It'll be about a quarter pound of nitrogen in this application. And then I'm gonna come back as soon as I see the seedlings starting to sprout. So it should be in about a week or two. I'll go ahead and put the other half down. That way I just don't push a lot of growth in the grass that's already there. And you can kind of maintain your new seed with your old growth and get everything growing together. So that is our game plan. I'm gonna get to throwing down so I can get back inside. All right guys, so we are done with the seed and the fertilizer. Now our next step is gonna be spot spraying some of those trouble spots we've got. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of what I'm talking about before I get down there to spray it. But right here along the edge of the roadside, so there's the crabgrass here, little crabgrass spot up there. I've got some crabgrass right at the side of the sidewalk there. And then of course, kind of along the entire edge of the road all the way across the front yard. And that spot is really tough for me because I've got that hill there. So I know my prodiamine at the beginning of the year doesn't touch it. But the one thing that I am super happy about is I don't have any crabgrass at all in the center of either the front or the backyard. So our pre-emergent has been working even after that first year where I didn't throw anything and I had a lot of crabgrass come in. As long as you kill it and then stay on top of it with your pre-emergent, hopefully by the end of the year, all you have to worry about is a couple little spots. Just knock them right out at the end of the year. And then next year, you'll know exactly where to concentrate. So probably what I'll do next year is get a little bottle of mixable prodiamine. That way I can go ahead and mix up a spray and use that on the perimeter of the yard. And then just go ahead and put my granular across the center part, just like I have been doing, because obviously it works. And then that, and then hopefully the spray will give me just that little bit of extra control around the perimeter of the yard and we'll be solid and good to go next year. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I could not film spraying the Bermuda, but hopefully you believe that I did it. <laughs> These boys are hot and they are ready to go inside. They worked super hard and I'm always, and I'm always excited whenever they can help me out with stuff like this. But with that, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button so that this video gets spread all across YouTube. And be sure to check out our future videos because you're gonna be able to see this lawn go from uh, not so great <laughs> to a super, super dark green. And I'm really excited to see how we finish out the year. But with that, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.